My name is Mackenzie and I'm a Microsoft device specialist with Data3. Today, I'm gonna to show you some cool stuff that you might not have known that you could do on the Surface Hub 2S. One of the great things about the Surface Hub 2S is it's got Microsoft Whiteboard on it. Microsoft Whiteboard has been recently updated um, for the Surface Hub 2S and has quite a few new features. So now we've got 15 colors and four brush sizes. You can just select them down at the bottom here. And they've also added sticky notes. So with these sticky notes, you can actually tap them. You can place them in these little stacks and then when you have them in a stack, you can actually flick through them and double tap to expand. In Microsoft Whiteboard, you can do something called Ink Grab. And with Ink Grab, what that allows you to do is take your analog whiteboard photos and transform that into digital ink. If we just move the sticky note away here and tap the magic wand button at the top, we can take this photo and using AI, it'll remove the background and change that into digital ink. So now what we can do is with the lasso button on the pen, we can take our top section here, move that up. We can use our ink to shape. And then I'm able to draw a square and keep adding to this diagram and ultimately reuse the whiteboard photo. Now Ink Grab also works surprisingly well with some photos as well. And this photo here of, of Danny DeVito is, is a perfect example. So we move this away and we click the magic wand button. Just like that, he turns into Danny Ink Vito. Now there's another cool app on this device and that's called Bing Maps. And with Bing Maps, we can get a, a very unique perspective that isn't possible on a lot of other um, applications. So in Maps, we can travel to the Empire State Building. And Microsoft has been nice enough to map all of this out in 3D. So while pinching, I can zoom right in on the Empire State Building and get a perspective like, like we're down at street level. Now with this app as well, there's a lot of pen and touch tools that are actually built in. So we might want to know how long it's going to take to get from the Empire State Building to Bryant Park. So using the pen, we can mark out our route on the map. And just like that, we can see there's 820 meters to get to Bryant Park. Now, another cool feature is the ability to, to mirror cast to the device. And not only can you mirror cast to the device wirelessly, but you can also do that while having whiteboard open. So I've got my Surface Pro here, and just in our notification panel, we can actually click the project button. Under project, there will be connect to a wireless display. And we can see just on here, our hub device. And just like that, we'll be able to project directly to the Surface Hub. When we're mirror casting to the device, we can still have whiteboard open alongside. So I can now write and annotate while still being able to project to the device. There's another application that's available in the Microsoft Store, which is called Air Server. What that allows you to do is actually connect your iOS devices to the Surface Hub as well, so anyone can connect. So if we just launch our Air Server application, Air Server allows you to connect any of your iOS devices to the Hub 2S so you can project your, your work, um, any videos or photos or anything you might be working on. Air Server is a great application for the Surface Hub because it allows 
anyone to connect to the device, regardless if you're using an iPhone or an iPad. This means that anyone can be included. Microsoft Paint has evolved. Now we're able to create in a whole different dimension. So with their built-in 3D library, we're actually able to pull 3D models into our workspace. In this example, what I'll do is I'll actually bring a heart. Paint 3D supports multiple 3D formats, um, including 3MF, FBX, and OBJ, which allows you to import these models and view them on the Surface Hub. Not only that, but you can actually take these models and use your screen snip feature to bring them back into your whiteboard so you can continue to collaborate with all your peers. I don't know if it's an artery. <laughs> Microsoft Teams on the Surface Hub connects your remote workers within your organization. From the start menu, I can start an ad hoc call. Once we're in a Teams call, we can share what we're doing on the Surface Hub to our remote participants. Once we're in a Teams meeting, we can use our share screen button and a visual indication will come up to show that we're sharing our workspace. Now, everything that I'm doing in Whiteboard or in any of the other applications can be seen by our remote participants, promoting an inclusive meeting experience. Now you might find that having your teams in the right pane is not always suitable for someone who's left-handed. So using the arrow button in the top right hand corner, we can reposition the UI from the right to the left hand side. Microsoft Whiteboard is a collaboration tool that's used across multiple industries. So one of the cool features is that you're actually able to change the background. You could have dotted paper or some grid lines or even graph paper for some of your more technical organizations. Being able to change the background color is especially powerful in the classroom with students that have visual impairment. This allows you to tailor the whiteboard to be a more inclusive experience. Not everyone has the best handwriting, especially in a day and age where we use keyboards in mice and pens aren't so widely used. On a digital canvas, we're not always able to make out what someone else has wrote. That's where the Text Beautify tool comes in. Using the lasso button on our pen, we can circle our text and use the magic wand button, and that'll take our text and beautify it. Not only can you do this with your own handwriting, but also with other people's work as well. This is especially useful if you work with a lot of doctors. If you'd like to learn more about the Surface Hub 2S, then contact a Surface Specialist at Data3 or visit data3.com.au.